hello friends welcome to another video on metcology tutorials uh, this has been a highly requested video from many students and uh, many people that we come in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis especially students who want to start their career in the healthcare sciences field they oftentimes come to us and ask us a um, little bit um, in confusion like which career option they should choose in terms of um, their long-term career ambitions should they choose medicine should they choose dentistry should they choose pharmacy nursing physiotherapy respiratory therapy physician assistant study so on and so forth so this video is for all those people in such dilemma it's not a video to magnify a profession and belittle a profession but it's going to give you information on what is the importance of pharmaceutical sciences what role pharmaceutical sciences plays uh, in the betterment of human health. So let's get straight ahead into the topic. So we all know that um, uh, people take medicines for various conditions and uh, we ourselves could be taking medicines. We could have uh, family members taking medicines for various uh, conditions. So oftentimes people have a misconception that medicines are basically to um, treat you know treat a disease but um, medicines can be uh, broadly categorized into uh, three um, aspects in terms of uh, what they are used for one could be prevention so here you could have your vaccines which are given then you have prophylaxis You have prophylaxis that is you give these medications um, in anticipation of an infection and try to prevent it by giving these medicines in advance similarly in terms of prevention but here you could have antibiotics which are given before a surgery so that the body does not uh, you know um, uh, get infection post surgery or immediately uh, post surgery so something of that sort and then finally you have for treatment so this is what people generally know about medicines that's the treatment part but you give medicines as prevention like vaccinations and also for prophylaxis for um, you know uh, preventing a condition in anticipating it uh, before you're going into some kind of a surgery or something of that sort so we all in our day-to-day -day lives uh, take medicines um, we have people taking medicines for various conditions and they are very very important and remember uh, here that medicines are not easy to manufacture modern day medicines have to undergo strict quality control measures so you cannot just mix stuff and make it into a medicine they have to undergo strict quality control modern medicine has to undergo strict quality control and therefore it is very important to study how to make efficacious and effective medications medicines um, are quite important in emergency situations now until and unless you have a life-threatening situation and encounter something on a personal level people generally don't tend to realize the importance of it if a patient is having say for example um, heart failure so if we consider this to be human heart we have upper two chambers and lower two chambers if there is heart failure you need this heart to start pumping again why you need this start to pump because you need blood to flow if you have no decreased blood flow you would have decreased blood pressure and then they, this could eventually cause death so you cannot let the heart fail that's when you have 
people giving drugs like adrenaline that will increase the heart rate so you see it's so important to have these drugs in an emergency situation that is where the role of pharmaceutical science comes in we need to understand that pharmaceutical sciences especially pharmacy is built on four core uh, building blocks or parameters the first one is pharmaceutical chemistry the second one is pharmaceutics the third one is pharmacology and the fourth one is herbal drugs herbal medicine or pharmacopoeia of course this is a little bit uh, tricky because pharmacopoeia deals with drugs from natural sources so they need not be just herbal in origin but they could be from any natural sources so these are the four fundamental pillars of uh, the pharmaceutical sciences pharmaceutical chemistry again over here we can branch it out further into uh, organic pharmaceutical organic chemistry pharmaceutical in organic chemistry and uh, analytical analytical chemistry when you take pharmaceutics pharmaceutics can again have further branching into industrial pharmacy could have it branched out into industrial pharmacy you could have novel drug delivery systems you could have biopharmaco biopharmaceutics uh, and uh, you could have formulation and development formulation and development so this is the four basic pillars on which the pharmaceutical sciences establish themselves upon there are add on fields that come in we have things like clinical pharmacy and we have things like um, clinical pharmaceutics and many other add on disciplines that do come in uh, uh, one more thing that can be added on is um, regulatory affairs so regulatory affairs basically deals with regulation of marketing of herbal products and herbal medicines so these are the fundamental pillars of pharmaceutical sciences we cannot just give a medicine to a patient say for example you have the inflammation of the meninges you have a brain condition you have the diagnosis with you have the diagnosis with you but the problem is how do you treat the condition to treat you need medicine and delivering drugs to the brain is always a challenge the reason being that normally if this is the blood flow and say for example you have the liver over here or you have the heart the blood vessels they which go into these organs take the drug into the organ and you can treat the pathology but when it comes to the brain you have an extra layer over here called the blood brain barrier we abbreviate it as bbb so you have the blood brain barrier the blood brain barrier does not allow every substance to pass through it and reach the brain so it's a challenge on how we will be able to deliver the drug 
crossing the blood brain barrier so you could have a diagnosis you could use extensive technology and have a diagnosis of a disease but if you do not know how you're going to give the medication to the patient how you're going to formulate it there's no point in having the diagnosis and uh, within the field of medicine we have great stalwarts who have um, sacrificed a lot of their time and energy and worked for the betterment of patients and one such person that i would like to all of you to know is uh, dr stuart adams so dr stuart adams is a pharmacist and a pharmacologist and he in the year 1961 discovered ibuprofen and it's a blockbuster drug but uh, he discovered it when he was working for boots the chemist so you see one discovery by this scientist has revolutionized the entire world he has helped so many people get rid of their pains and aches so the impact that you can have by doing one simple discovery of a medicine is humongous by helping lots and lots of people so remember that as a physician you could say treat maybe say one lakh two lakh three lakh patients but if you discover a medication you are going to revolutionize and it will be prescribed and people can get benefit from it so these are people in the profession of pharmaceutical sciences who inspire younger generation of scientists to do drug discovery and development. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to inform everybody to take some key home messages back. Remember that whenever you go to the pharmacy next time to appreciate the to appreciate the uh, to appreciate the efforts that go into making medicines i'll take up a separate topic make a separate video on drug discovery the entire process but there's a lot of effort that goes into making medicines and my formula that i always use to um, tell my students is you could have a disease you could have a diagnosis but if you don't have treatment, the end result is nothing but death. And treatment, majority of the time, is through medication. And the people who are considered medicine experts are pharmaceutical scientists and pharmacists. And it's not an easy effort to make these medicines. Therefore, whenever you go into a pharmacy next time, whenever you take a medication, recognize that there has been a lot of efforts that has put that has been put in making these medications, and appreciate the work that scientists do in the labs uh, for discovering these medications. There are many diseases that drugs need to be discovered still for, and if this is a field that excites you. This is a field that uh, gives you motivation. Then I would say that you should come in because remember people like Dr. Adams, who by the discovery of one medication had such a big impact on people's life. So I hope through this video, uh, you could realize the importance of pharmaceutical sciences and how medicines are very important and difficult to manufacture and requires a lot of skill and precision. Thank you.